In this video, I want to talk about controls that are in your hands, okay, that you have some controls in. The doctor generally will, will doctor will definitely set, will di dictate what the CPAP pressure should be, um, and the ramp, and the C-flex sometimes, but you have, you have control on that too. If you talk to the doctor, work collaboratively with them, I mean, they will gladly, you, most of the time I've not seen them uh, say no to the, to the patients. Okay, let me explain to you what I mean. By the way, you're going to see this dim out very quickly. That's just the way it is. So I'm going to be bouncing back and forth. C-Flex. C-Flex is a feature that makes exhaling easier. C-Flex Plus, okay, make, and makes the breathing much more natural. Um, Respironics, al uh, sorry, ResMed also has it. And... Uh, um, but Fish and Pekal does not have it. Uh, so you have settings 1, 2, and 3. But you know what? I want to show it to you with this way. CFX Plus Demo. I love this thing. This is the only machine that allows you to, when you turn this on, while you're using the CPAP machine, right, you can play around with the settings. So the higher the number, the easier it is to exhale. Okay, the settings 0, uh, 1, 2, 3 you can play with this while this is on your face and running you cannot do that with the resume and and fish and pickle icon does not even have this feature at all okay this is such an awesome feature um, so let me just get out of this and then the next part i want to show you is setup uh, let me do this this way okay in s in setup mode, um, these are things you have in your control. I mentioned about C flex. The next one I want to talk to you. You know, I do not want to talk about system one humidification and humidifier. I'm creating a separate video for you so that I can explain that better. Ramp time. Okay. In here, you have two f two things in your control: ramp time and ramp start pressure. Okay. Um, your doctor, for example, if this was set at 10, this when you when you turn the machine on, it will come on at 10, and if you press this button, it drops the pressure to 4, and over the next certain number of minutes, it's going to climb up 4, 4.1, 4.2, all the way to 10. This makes it easier for you to, um, to get accustomed to it, okay? Now, in all the machines have it however this is the only one and this is a new feature now they have where you can control how long this time is in minutes and the ramp start pressure in ResMed you can control the ramp time only okay in Fisher and Pekal icon you cannot control neither one of them it's all fixed by the manufacturer Alright, so that's a big thing. Tubing type, like I mentioned earlier, you have 15 millimeter or you can make it 22 millimeter diameter tubing. You must program the right tubing so that this will feel better for you and work better for you. Auto on and auto off. If you turn the auto on and put it to on here, that means you put the mask on, breathe a few breaths, the machine will start. If you put the auto off and you turn that on, all you have to do is take the mask off and it will start by its, I'm sorry, the machine will shut off by itself, okay? Mask alert. If there is a huge leak, if you turn this on, if you turn, right, if there is a huge leak, that it will indicate to you with a beep that there is a huge leak, okay? ResMed has it, but it doesn't beep. It just will show a visual message indicating that uh, that um, that there is a leak. Um, I'm almost done, guys. Let me see. Uh, humidification LED backlight. Okay, I want to show you this. If you put that to on, and then when you turn this, okay, and basically what it does is when you turn the machine on you see this is the hum the humidifier control this will light up however here's the bad thing this screen here the light here dims away and it will not come back on 
Now, that's a negative, especially if you like getting up, if you tend to wake up in the middle of the night and you just want to see what your settings are or you want to see some of the uh, data in that, you cannot. You need to have a flashlight handy or turn the light on. Uh, the ResMed units, if you just touch it, it'll light up and then, you know, somewhere between 30 seconds to a minute, somewhere around that range there, it'll light up and then it'll dim away. It works as a great night light for the ResMed. But these guys, it doesn't. But this will light up or you can, or the heated humidifier backlight, you can dim it. Okay. Um, let me see. I want to go down. Silent mode is off. Let me explain that to you. All right. <laughs> this is a strange thing. I've had enough, some a good number of complaints from CPAP patients who use this. Because when you turn the machine on, you're going to hear a beep. Did you hear that? Now, if you are someone who goes to bed later than your bed partner, your wife, or your husband, that can wake... Some people have complained that that has woken their bed partner up. Now... In the setup mode, you can silence that beep, okay? So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, that's a very good thing. Uh, the resume doesn't have beep at all. Um, now, as far as I remember right now, I'm a little bit nervous right now, and I, I don't recall it ever beeping. Yeah, it does not beep. Now, language, you can program this to, to be in English or in Spanish, okay? And that's it. I'm going to create another video later that talks about the info feature. Before I go there, I want to talk to you about the Auto IQ. This is brand spanking new. Okay, they never used to have it about a month, two months ago. They never used to have it. This, remember, this is a straightforward CPAP. However, for 30 days, we can program this to work as an auto CPAP. It only works for a maximum of 30 days. Meaning, the only time we'll ever do that if the doctor says, you know what, let's try to figure out what a new CPAP setting should be for the person, and we can program it, and then based on the results there, um, the doctor can say, oh, okay, based on the auto IQ test that we just did, I think we need to change this, the, the CPAP setting to X, to whatever it is, okay? It's a fantastic feature. The sleep labs are not happy about it because, you know, this like they say, you know, what this is another reason not to go back to the sleep center to do a, a titration study again. Okay, so but this is a new brand spanking new feature. Okay, um, with that I'm gonna pause and be back.